The royal amulet. Far, far away in a land, a long, long time ago, there lived a princess called Princess Windflower. Whose family had a strange, magical legacy. Darling, it is your twenty-first birthday today. On this day, I must give you this. This, this amulet. But mother, you have had it forever. And from this day, it must belong to you. This is not an ordinary amulet, darling. My mother gave it to me when I turned twenty-one, and now I give it to you. And you must give it to your daughter. So long as you have it, love, joy, prosperity will follow you. But if you part with it, misfortune and sadness will fill your life. At least once in your life, you will be compelled to give it up. But remember, whatever happens, keep faith and do not part with it. I will keep it with me always, mother. I promise. What? So that is why she's the most beloved of all of our subjects, and of my brother. It is so unfair for her to have this magic. Well, my daughter and I must live ordinary lives. I must get her to part with that amulet. And now, I must leave you for a year, so that the magic of the amulet can truly belong to you. But don't worry. Your aunt will take good care of you. So the queen left for a year. The king invited princes from all the powerful kingdoms around for a ball. The aunt heard this, and before the news spread, she took the princess to a lonely forest on the pretext of a vacation. And then lied to her brother. Brother, Windflower seems ill. She has been ordered by the doctors to stay in a quiet place. She cannot be present at the ball. But the amulet had already begun its magic. What a beautiful butterfly! Hey, come here. The prince lost his way. Presently, he came near the cottage where Princess Windflower was. Why do I feel so drawn to that cottage? Why do I feel so drawn to the window? The prince and the princess laid eyes on each other. And they knew they had found true love. They were married with great splendor. And after a couple of years, they had a daughter of their own, who they lovingly called Sundu. All because of the magic of the amulet, and we must take it away from her. And here is how. The aunt invited the princess and her daughter for a vacation in the mountains. Once they arrived. My baby, leave her. 
for B. All I want is for you to surrender the amulet. That I won't. The magic of this amulet will protect me and my daughter. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Why do I feel as though my beloved Windflower needs me? Prince! What are you doing here, Emerald? The enemy has attacked your wife and daughter! I knew something was wrong, but my wife is a good fighter. They've got the baby and she must surrender her amulet, but she has refused. No. My wife would not risk our daughter's life for an amulet. See for yourself. Indeed. The prince heard that the princess was unwilling to part with her amulet, and he was furious. Why wouldn't you surrender the amulet? Do you love that more than our family? No, I want to keep it because if I lose it, I shall lose you and everything else. Do you think I love you because of a piece of jewelry? No, it is a family. Enough! Part with that amulet now, else I shall wonder whether you love us at all. The princess entreated with the prince, but he was adamant. So the princess had to give up the amulet. The moment it left her, the prince lost all memory of her and rode away. The aunt and her daughter left her to fend for herself. Many years passed by. With the loss of the amulet, Princess Windflower's heart became empty of all joy. But what did not leave her was her goodness. Mother! See the poor thing's hurt. She got caught in the thorny brambles. Aw, poor thing. Good you brought her here. Let us give her some milk. This was the only milk I had today, and I was saving it for you. Give it to her. She needs it more than I do. Well, well, you are indeed bringing up your daughter very well, Princess Windflower. In spite of losing your amulet, it's time you got a chance to earn it back. I so long to see your father again. Let us go back to our kingdom and see him, even if he won't recognize us. So, Princess Windflower and her daughter went back to the kingdom. They were shocked at what they saw. What is wrong with the people here? All shops closed. An air of such sadness. It is our prince. He's injured by poisoned arrow. The prince has no wife, no child. If something happens to him, who will rule us? <gasps> huh? What? Surely there are enough physicians here who could help him. 
The poison is so deadly that if someone so much as touches the prince, the poison will attack him. The prince will be cured, but the person touching him will die. I will cure him. I will not let my beloved prince die. This is something I have to do. I know. Your father will take good care of you. So, the princess went to the palace and was taken to the prince. Who? Who are you? Someone who loves you more than life itself. Goodbye, my beloved. Why do I feel as though I know you? The amulet. The amulet. You now have earned the amulet back. Windflower. My beloved Windflower, you can't die. The fairy magically extracted all the poison from Princess Windflower, and she was revived. Wake up, dear. I am so sorry. I should have trusted your love. No, I should have kept my faith and held on to it. Prince Sweetbriar and Princess Windflower lived happily ever after. The aunt and her daughter were punished. The story was passed on from generation to generation. So that the amulet served this line of princesses for a long, long time. <laughs>